Hello, and welcome to the Pharmacy Informatics Professor 2020 with your host, Armin Simonian. Today in this fifth episode, I wanted to start getting into some computer basics. Now, as I mentioned before, the pharmacy informaticist does not need to know programming per se, or be an IT analyst or specialist, but you do need to speak the language of the IT department. So what I'd like to do is start to get into that language start talking about some of the concepts that are known by IT that they live by. And so we will know their language and we can communicate with them. And today's focus in this episode will be on data. So back in the day, when we first started using large computers in corporations and hospitals, the IT department was actually called data processing because we were really focused on the level of data. And that morphed into information processing or information systems. And the latest iteration is information technology. And who knows, someday we might call that department knowledge technology, since we're, especially in our electronic health records, adding a lot of uh, smarts to our uh, information, a lot of value to it, and taking it to the next level of knowledge. So, Just keep in mind that today we're just gonna start focusing on the bottom level, which is data. What is data? Data in a computer is at the smallest level, a bit. That's a one or a zero, it's either on or off, it's a circuit that's open or closed. Eight of those together make a byte, and you've probably heard of bytes before. And those are, used to, uh, to define the functional units of data types. So what are the data types? We can have characters, integers, real numbers, or Boolean, which is a flag that says true or false, or it's on or off. From there, we move on to fields. So these are named units of data, and they have a specific size and permissible values. They're also called a data element, and they can contain either that alphabetic, numeric, alphanumeric, or Boolean uh, data type. When we gather a bunch of fields together, we get a record, and here's an example of what a student record might look like with a name, a number, a grade point average, a date of birth, and a Boolean, all different data types contained together in one record. From there, we gather together records to make a file, and we gather files together and we relate them to each other to create a database. Why do I talk about this? We need to know when we're referring to data what we're talking about. And also what this is leading to is our electronic health records are really huge databases. So here's just a summary of that continuum from bit all the way up to database. And now I'll talk a little bit about the prescription And when I first started using computers in pharmacy, it was in the retail setting. And this was one of the first applications of the PC within pharmacy practice. And what we did is we used the personal computer to start storing prescription information, information about our patients, about our prescribers, about our insurance companies, about the drugs, and we, stored those and brought those together to create prescriptions, print labels, and dispense medications. What does a drug file look like in a computer system? When you're a pharmacy informaticist, you might be responsible for building this file and maintaining it. So uh, here's just a quick example of a small file with generic name, trade name, strength, strength unit, volume, volume unit, dose, form, NDC, National Drug Code, and Manufacture. A patient file might look like this, with the name of the patient and their ID number, date of birth, gender, address, allergies, and insurance. And then the prescription file can be something that relates to the other files that brings in the keys for each of those other files related to that patient. So you might have a master key of Rx number, and it'll pull in the patient number, the NDC of the drug so that it can look up the drug information. And then um, additionally, you might have dose frequency and other 
requirements of that particular prescription. This is what it looks like graphically. So we have the different files. They all relate to each other. We're pulling information. And this is kind of how our pharmacy system works, very simplistically uh, represented here. And also, we can relate this to our, elect our electronic health records, uh, which are the larger databases. So we have our pharmacy information management systems, and then uh, that's focused really on the med use process. And then we have our electronic health records where we pull in all of the information about the patient, not a, just about their med use, but their diagnoses, their lab results, and uh, other information. So that's just a quick introduction to what data is, data elements, data structures, and uh, really defining a database and then getting to the point where we realize that our electronic health records are really huge database systems. So in the next segment, I will then talk about computer programming and then try to tie those together so that we have an idea of data within our health records and how the programming works for those and then get into how we might share information with clinicians within our institution and within other institutions. So if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And I'll thank you for that. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of the health of others, and we'll see you next time.